Hey guys, it's Aquaman. And on today's episode, we're on our way to Harper's Ferry and all the adventures in between. Catch you down trail. Hey guys, all right, so I left Mountain House Cabins today and uh, I have to say that's one of those Platinum Blaze experiences. If you get a chance, highly, highly, highly recommend. Now, just as you get back on the trail, you'll see this big fence next to me. Well, this fence separates us hikers from the Smithsonian Zoological Conservation Center. Probably saying the name wrong, but Basically, it's a government facility that, from what I understand, works with uh, endangered animals. And so all of this area behind us, or next to us here on trail, is part of that compound, which is huge. It's a major compound. Now, from what I've heard, the compound also has some kind of a bunker facility, an NSA facility, a uh, Border Patrol dog training facility. So all kinds of interesting facilities inside this one area that's all quote unquote uh part of the smithsonian so so you'll walk along the fence for a while but kind of neat though the stuff that you get to see here on trail all right well planning on doing 15 miles today tomorrow i start something called the roller coaster which should be fun and uh but for now, I'll catch you guys down trail. Hey guys. All right, so I'm gonna be stopping at a shelter just to check it out. It's the uh, Jim and Molly Denton shelter. And uh, based on gut hook, it looks like it's a really cool shelter. Uh, it's got a lot of interesting, uh, uh, what to say, amenities. And uh, so, so let's go down trail and check it out. Well, one of the first things I noticed about this is how nicely graded the uh, entry trail is. I mean, it's like a little garden path almost coming into this thing. Now, so let's see what we got. Oh, wow. It is a really nice little shelter. Check it out. This one here, I mean, it's really nice. It's, it's, there's a, a group here, so I'm not gonna bother them that's up on it. But uh, it has its own horseshoe area, which is pretty nice. Um, looks like someone actually comes here and cuts the grass, because the grass is actually manicured here. And something else that this one has that you don't see very often at all, which looks really, really cool. I'll show you in here in a second. It actually has a shower and uh you know, a big old container up there it's spring fed and uh yeah check that out so walk around here oh this other side here come into the thing so, so yeah that is pretty awesome haven't seen that at a at a shelter um on the at just a standard shelter so, first shower facility on an actual AT shelter that I've seen. Pretty cool. Okay, so that was pretty cool. All right, so they found out who I was. And uh, so it was an, an Asian family reunion going on here. And they found out I was Aquaman. And they just they fell in love with <laughs> the idea of taking photos and video and stuff. So that was really, really cool. They showed me what the symbol of love is in uh uh in uh japanese so which is really cool and uh took photos so, so yeah sorry i'm climbing all right so so back on trail catch you guys down trail all right so i just made it to the top of my second major climb and i'm 
on top of something called the meadows. So, as you can see, just tall grass all over the place. And today, it's in the 90s, low 90s. So, the temperature, and it's, a, it's around lunchtime, so really hot, very, very sweaty today. And uh, hopefully I'll get to camp in time that I'll be able to uh, lay my stuff out in the sun and dry it out. But yeah, oh look, a mysterious crop circle. <laughs> but yeah, so as you can see, it's a big old meadow field and uh, getting to cross that in direct sunlight. A lot of fun, a lot of heat. All right, catch you down trail. Hey gang. Um, all right, so in the background, uh, I don't know if you can see it. There's a train right through the woods over here where I've got to go across the tracks in a minute. So I'm kind of held up until I can get across. But this cool sign here marks that the next 27 miles of the Appalachian Trail between Manassas and Snickers Gap follows what was from 1863 to 1865, the western boundary of the Mosby Confederacy. Um, which was a base of operations for the Confederate Ranger, Colonel John Singleton Mosby. Mosby. So uh, again, all kinds of history in this area, and uh, you just never know what you're going to see and learn along the Appalachian Trail that comes to our, uh, our American history. All right, so I, it sounds like the train's passed. I think things are clear. Time to cross the tracks. Well, apparently uh, I got here and the train was still going by. And uh, long way that way, and a long way that way. And if you look just through the train, you can see the trail on the other side. So, see how long I have to wait. So every once in a while, while walking along, you come across something just out of place, like a, uh, like a ball cap hanging in a tree with a white blaze on it. Random, but not unusual on the AT. So, all right, off we go. Hi right, guy. Not sure if it's picking up well on the uh, on the speakers, but uh, the cicada, say, uh, sorry, cicadas are out now, and uh, it's just like a, a massive white noise of them in the background. I mean, you can hear some traffic because we're not far from a, a major interstate, but yeah, it's just a non-stop background noise now from the cicadas, which means the. Uh, the snakes will be out even in more drove because they eat them. So, so that means I just got to be more observant of where I'm stepping. So, all right, 
I got a uh, thousand foot climb ahead of me. Heat of the day. Wish me luck. All right, here we go. Good morning everybody, Aquaman, and I just left Whiskey Hollow Shelter, which you can still see in the background here, and uh, very unique shelter. Uh, there's actually a site of two shelters. There's actually one here called Dick's Dome and Whiskey Hollow. Whiskey Hollow was built back in uh, 2016, and it's, in gut hook it says it's a four person. It's actually a 10 person shelter, so it's pretty awesome. Um, water source, just down the hill, not too bad. It is a point three off trail. So it's a little bit of a, uh, a hike up out to get back to the AT, but not bad. Problem was last night, uh, two things. One, the cicada, as you can still hear in the background, are just annoying. And uh, it was super hot. I, I woke up multiple times and I was just sweating. So I had to basically sleep on the outside of my sleeping bag in shorts. And I'm just drenched in sweat most of the night. I think it wasn't until about three o'clock this morning that I finally got to got to sleep comfortably. But you know, it is what it is. Um, today's gonna be a long one. I'm actually gonna try to make about 19 miles today. Uh, it's gonna be a long one, and I'll be hitting something called the roller coaster today, which is a challenging set of climbs and dives, climbs and dives. So. We'll see. And there's another big milestone coming up today, which I'll let you guys see when I get there. All right, for now, I'm on the Blue Blaze back up to the AT, and uh, I'll catch you guys down trail. Hey, gang. All right, so I'm at the Rod Hollow Shelter. Uh, just pretty nice shelter. Uh, fairly good size. Uh, it's got its own uh, picnic table area under its own pavilion, kind of like the couple of the other ones I've seen lately um, stopped in grabbed a bite to eat and uh, oh, sorry, dropped my pen and uh, preparing myself for the roller coaster um, gonna be doing about 10 miles of just up and down up and down anywhere between three to five hundred foot elevation gains and losses up and down up and down I think I've got nine total climbs coming ahead in the next 10 miles so it's brutal and that's not even the full day that's that just gets me if i can make it all the way through uh to bear's den hostel which from what i understand is availability tonight and that one's actually operated by the atc so if all goes well i'll be there tonight and uh and that'll start me on a downhill and then i think i only have about three maybe four more um, rollers after that as part of the roller coaster and then I'm out of the roller coaster and uh, so yeah kind of a kind of a challenge coming ahead uh, gotta get my head right because this is it's gonna be tough I've already done 10 miles today so my body has already you know been pushed um, so yeah it's gonna be a, a long day all right so wish me luck and I'll catch you guys down trail and uh, got a got a surprise coming up here soon and uh, I'll I'll show you that in a minute All right, gang, um, as you can see, about to enter the roller coaster, and uh, it says, have a great ride. So, But right before, it's kind of cool. As you come, before you get there, there's these uh, wooden walkways, and it's about 100 yards or so of these, and it's kind of like the queue line leading you up to the roller coaster. So I thought that was kind of a neat little deal there. But uh, all right, 
10 miles of this today. So let's see what it does to me. Wish me luck. See you guys down trail. And I would walk 500 miles and I would walk 500 more just to be a man who walks 1,000 miles. Look at that. Part of me wants to cry. Um, yeah. Wow. 1,000 miles on the AT. Pretty, pretty amazing. Um, seeing so much in the three months and today's the three month mark uh, today is June 6 and I started on March 6 so, so it took me three months to do a thousand miles but oh wow um, so it's funny uh, about a quarter mile back I was crossing a road and came across uh, this uh, this giant battle wagon uh, it was a huge black van raised with big knobby tires on it and uh, so it pulls it stops and rolls down the window and a young lady um, who's a support to uh, another through hiker by the name of Banjo uh, her name is Scout and uh, she asked me if I was a through hiker and I said yes and she said yeah, you want something to drink so so I got some trail magic right before this um, yeah that was pretty amazing so hopefully I'll run into them tonight at Baron's Den apparently they're going to be there too so uh, I'll try to get them on video but uh, the, the, the van that they have is this massive van and, uh, and she couldn't have been more sweet. And, uh, so I look forward to meeting her, her through hike, her husband, Banjo, uh, tonight. So, all right, that's it guys. A thousand miles. I'm not done yet. Still got some to go, but a thousand miles is still, that's a pretty amazing accomplishment. All right. Catch you guys down trail. I just finished 18 miles and I'm not gonna lie that is probably the hardest thing I've done since the 25 mile day I did from Bryant shelter to uh, Glasgow and uh, it looks like I'm here now hopefully uh, the curator who left me a message said that there was space for me so I'm really really hoping that's true but but yeah that's a uh, that looks like the place right here so uh, hopefully uh All right, let's go check it out. Morning everybody. So I'm leaving the awesome Bear's Den Hostel. Uh, as you can see in the background, pretty awesome place. And thank you, you guys have a great day. And uh, yeah, uh, hospitality here was awesome. The hiker community here is awesome. Uh, it's just a beautiful place, it's like a little castle. And it's on top of a mountain. And uh, yeah, pretty cool and uh, sad to be leaving, but got to get to Harper's Ferry and uh, get to the uh, spiritual halfway point of this journey. So, well, as you can hear, the cicada are still 
fully active. And uh, so that'll be an annoying sound in the background all day long. But uh, yeah, good, good night. Hopefully a good day. But it looks like it'll be good today. It's going to be another hot one though. Just not as sunny. And uh, so it is what it is. All right. So I'll show you guys the view from uh, Bear Den Rocks here in a few minutes. All right. Catch you guys down trail. I guess so I'm back on the AT now and uh, beautiful view at Bear's Den rocks as you saw it's a big boulder area and you can see where bears probably do live or it did live and uh, pretty cool um, now I've got about five miles left of the roller coasters and luckily I'm starting on a downhill today but I still have some some major climbs today I think two maybe three more major ones before uh, we're done so this first five miles is going to be pretty tough and then i've got another nine miles after that of a uh, relatively okay terrain we'll see what the rocks are like right now the rocks are already picking up and haven't gotten but a couple hundred yards away from the bear's den main entrance trail or the blue blaze so all right well five more miles of roller coasters can't wait for this to be behind me and check this uh landmark off the at list all right guys i'll catch you down trail all right guys see that right there that is a cicada and uh that's what's making all the noise that you hear in the background and uh yeah they're ugly looking bugs but they don't hurt you. They don't bite. Um, they uh, they just make a lot of noise. And unfortunately, though, the snakes really, really like them. So uh, still got a lot of rock shambles ahead of me. And uh, rock, I'm sorry, rock scrambles. And uh, so, yeah, been a tough morning already. Uh, super sweaty. And it's only, uh, it's not even, it's only 8 o'clock in the morning. And I'm already completely drenched in sweat. So, but yeah, you can see this is the terrain that you're doing all the way through uh the uh the roller coaster not a fun time so still got about four more miles to go i'll catch you guys down trail country roads take me home to a place i belong west virginia mountain mama take me home country roads virginia's done i'm in west virginia hallelujah all right, not over yet with the roller coasters, but this is a big accomplishment. Virginia being over 500 miles long. It's been a long, long few weeks getting through Virginia. I'm very happy to be in West Virginia now. All right, let me finish out the roller coasters. I'll see you then. See you down trail. All right, guys, I'm on the first overlook in West Virginia. So, uh, take a look. Oh. All right. So, welcome to West Virginia's view. We'll catch you down trail. Hey gang, so uh, I just came into uh, Keys Gap, and it's funny, when you come down, there's a sign that says, Welcome to Virginia, on one side, and Welcome to West Virginia, on the other. So apparently I'm right on the border. It's pretty funny. So, alright, well, now I gotta call and get picked up, and uh, taken to the hostel. 
I'll catch you guys down trail. Historical town of Hillsboro. Look at that, all these old buildings. So they're made by the Quakers to do all this work. Get your cold drink. Hey guys, so I'm at the Stony Brook uh, Hostel, and uh, they're actually an organic farm, and uh, they're a religious group who uh, who have opened their homes and uh, to do hikers. Now the way they operate is it's it's a communion, a community that lives together, prays together, uh, they share their home and the food that they grow here. It's all organic farming, so um, I figure it'd be interesting change up of how things are done. Uh, behind me are the cabins, the hiker cabins, and there's four bunks in each of those, so they can host quite a few. Um, the main house is behind me over there, and then up on the hill, that's the uh, bathhouse and the uh, uh, the uh, shower, uh, restrooms, and uh, laundry. So I'm going to be heading there now, do some laundry, get cleaned up uh, after a very long, hot 14 miles today. And uh, and then I'll check out the main house, and, uh, and then I guess tonight they have a service around six o'clock, and then they have dinner after that, and uh, we're all invited to join in. So we'll check it out. All right, catch you guys down trail. All right, guys. So I'm inside the uh, the shower and uh, laundry room uh, or building. So uh, not too shabby. Um, it's really nice. You know, hardwood floors, you know, wood ceiling. So inside here has uh, adequate shower stuff inside, ready for hikers. And uh, little nice little basin over here. Washing up, a little cooking area, uh, full functioning toilets, not uh, not having to do composting or uh, using an outhouse, and uh, again, and a stackable washing and dryer. So everything a hiker needs here, pretty pretty cool. So all right, uh, coffee machines and everything. So I think I'll be uh, I'll be taking a shower real quick getting my laundry done, and uh, be ready for tomorrow's hike. All right. Good morning, everybody. So, just packing up at the uh, Stony Brook uh, Hostel, and uh, had a kind of a rough night. Um, just couldn't sleep a lot on my mind, I guess. But uh, so now I gotta just grab my stuff, and uh, I gotta walk up to the actual Stony Brook farm um, store and market and a deli and they said uh, they'll offer me breakfast so I got about 15-20 minute walk 
get up there and uh and then from there they'll take me back to the trailhead and i'll be on my way to harper's ferry so really excited about harper's ferry today all right guys i'll catch you down trail Hey gang, all right, so just got dropped off by the uh, Stony Brook people and uh, they could not have been nicer. Yeah, it really is um, a great organization. Um, it, it's a religious organization and uh, they are communal, as I said before, but they just really wanna help people. And uh, so it was really, really nice to see them help me out with a, a place to stay and food. So. If you get a chance, definitely check them out. I think you'll you'll appreciate the stay. So, all right. So, got seven miles to get to Harper's Ferry, and uh, pretty excited about it. All right. So far, the trail looks like it's gonna be pretty flat for a bit. I'll get my trail legs going here this morning, and uh, catch you guys down trail. Hey guys, all right, so I'm in the outskirts of Harper's Ferry and uh, I'm heading up to the ATC headquarters. Now, as soon as you go across the bridge, you have to come up this really steep incline to get to the ATC and I'm not done yet, I still gotta go way up there. So yeah, they don't mention that, uh, that it's 0.4, almost straight up from the road. Uh, if you take the road down, it starts leading you into the historical town, but you head up here and you get you uh, to the ATC headquarters. So, but gotta check in and uh, so, all right guys, I'll catch you there. Hi guys. Um, I am in Harper's Ferry. Apparently it's named for Robert Harper who settled here in 1747 and operated a ferry. Site purchase for the Federal Arsenal and Armory in 1796. John Hall first used the interchangeable gun parts here. Travel route through the Blue Ridge Gap in the river uh, John Brown raid and the Civil War brought national attention. Post-war site of Stoner College for Blacks and National Park created in 1944. And uh, that sign just happens to be right out in front of the Harper's Bay ATC Conservatory Visitor Center. The uh, spiritual halfway point. I made it, guys. I made it to the halfway point. All right. But unfortunately... I'm here on a Tuesday and they're closed today and tomorrow, but uh, there is somebody here that can help me out if I go around back. So um, I won't get to have the full experience of the conservatory while I'm here, but at least uh, 
I should still get my tag and hopefully they'll do my photo. All right, let's go see what I can find out. Okay guys, well, I'm inside the AT Conservatory. This amazing staff has been more than helpful to me today. They got me all squared away here. Uh, got my tag. Uh, this year it is a purple tag, just like that. And, uh, and we are just, we just finished getting my photo done out front. And it looks like I will be officially hiker number 240. 240 and uh, I'll be going in the, the official book here in just a few minutes. So but yeah, this is the uh, the inside guys It's pretty cool in here literally cool since it is blazing outside and uh, a lot of cool things in here and uh, You've got plenty of maps and stuff you can pick up uh, Even a cool sticker if you want a sticker. So all right guys. Oh We got to catch you down trail all right, well, that was, uh, that was very unexpected. Um, the, uh, the staff in the back was actually nice enough to do all the front office stuff for me. So I'm officially Hiker 240. And I, was, I started off at 483. So you can see almost half the hikers that signed in uh, have not made it this far. And uh, so I got my official photo done. I got a copy of it. And uh, my photo's in the book. And... Uh, it's official. I'm, uh, I'm hiker 240 from Harper's Ferry, and uh, yeah. So, yeah, there's there it is, guys, right across the street, the ATC. So, uh, I know there's a lot of po uh, politics and stuff uh, as far as why people are not happy with the ATC right now. But um, for me, this was a, a big checkpoint, and uh, it means a lot to me to have gotten in there and. A part of the, the heritage of uh, being a through hiker so well that was pretty awesome and again they didn't have to do all that they were actually closed today and those that's not actually the front staff that does all the normal stuff so they had to learn on the fly how to do it all but they they took care of me and uh so i got the full through hiker experience and uh, really happy about that so now heading to the hotel and hopefully get to check in all right see you there all right, guys, so kind of an interesting situation. Um, I'm at the town den, but unfortunately, they're booked up. And uh, But the proprietor has been really bending over backwards, and uh, I am getting to camp right here, which is kind of a stealth camping situation, but it's her property. Not supposed to do this, but she's going to let me camp here uh, for a discounted rate. So not bad. A uh, couple of nights here, just staying out of the way, and uh, I'm going to set up my camp, and... Well, uh, and she could let me shower inside, so at least they get cleaned up. So we're going to do that real quick, get set up, get some shower, and then check out Harper's Ferry. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. Also, if you could, head over to aquamanontheat.com and support me along the way with a donation. Thank you so much.